Hello. <laughs> Welcome to Makeup Mugwump. My name's Leanne. <laughs> this video was requested a while ago and I thought I'd do it tonight. <clears throat> we have done a couple of videos where I started my makeup with my skincare. So I talked through kind of my skincare stuff that I do. And somebody asked for my evening skincare routine. And so let's let's talk through that real quick. Um, so first thing is get my hair ready for bed. So we got to do the pineapple on the top of the head. Couple things that might make a difference. This is just fabulous. Okay, so a couple of things that you need to know. One is that I am not super specific about a, a specific product. Like I don't, I don't use the same stuff over and over except for a few items and I'll tell you about them as we go. What I've already done is, and I can't, you know, those folks that do those like skincare routines in their bathroom and they gently you know, splash water on their face and they want, honey, it is a typhoon in my bathroom when I wash my face. It's disgusting and I get every, everywhere, everywhere. I'll tell you what I do and then I'm going to actually do the rest of my stuff tonight. So I first begin with either the Neutrogena Oil-Free Eye Makeup Remover. It's one of those by Facil. I've actually used it recently. Tea shaking and they make it pretty. <clears throat> I use either that or the knockoff brand of it, like the store brands of that. Or if I've got like, like a deluxe sample of something, <clears throat> I'll use the Clinique Take the Day Off Eye Makeup Remover. I'll use whatever. The, the Lancome is lovely, but I don't ever buy it. It's just like free gift for purchase. So brand specific, no, but the type, it has to have the two type for me. And I use, these are it's dingy because I have had it for years and I use reusable cotton rounds. So I use one for each eye and I take off my eye makeup remover, take off my eye makeup. And if I have like a really stubborn lip, I'll use a third one. These go in a little mesh bag and then they get washed every week with our laundry. And they're, I mean, they're not, I don't bleach them. I mean, I don't, it doesn't have to be stunningly beautiful. It has to work. And so I have had the same, I think I bought two packs um, and off of Amazon. There's like lots of these. And there's folks that make them on Etsy and they're so cute and all that. I just bought like functional ones. They were white when they first came, but here we are. And then I take off my eye makeup remover. And again, if I have like a stubborn lip, like any kind of liquid lipstick or a dark lip color or whatever that I don't necessarily want to smear across my face when I wash it, I'll take it off with one of these. Okay. That's that. And then I wash my face. If I've got normal makeup on, I'll wash it with one product. If I have like shellac on stuff, like double wear, it's like setting sprayed, you know what I'm talking about? If I have that on, then I might double cleanse. Um, but typically these days, being in pandemic world, I don't really, so I usually have like some sort of, ooh, don't open, you nasty thing. This is disgusting. So you're welcome for showing you all my dirty, nasty stuff. I am not specific to the to the cleanser. I'm not. This is one that I, I think I got, oh, I don't know, a long time ago. I have a back stock of all kinds of skincare. This is the charcoal cleansing foam. It's got charcoal powder in it. It is a Korean... Um, charcoal cleansing foam. It's lovely. It does a great job of taking off my makeup. So do lots of other things. If it's stubborn, then I wash it twice. The end. Okay. So that's like the cleansing part. I use a microfiber, like it came from the automobile section of Walmart. Like you get like a 10 pack, but they're like microfiber cloths for washing your car. I know that sounds crazy, but they work really well and they are very much less expensive than all the ones at like Ulta and Sephora. Just saying. I have some of those too because they came in boxes. 
But I don't buy those. I buy like the microfiber cloths to wash your car. Freaking chamois. I, you know, it works really well. <laughs> it's not abrasive. It, it rings out quickly. And uh, I throw them in the wash every week with my laundry too. Like, mm, easy. Okay. Then I have like two worlds that I live in. One world is when I am like about to fall over, go to sleep, and I cannot be bothered to come and sit down in here and do my evening routine. In that world, these products live in my bathroom where I wash my face, like right next to it. And in that world, I spray my face quickly after it's washed. And I use the Cause RX AHA BHA Clarifying Treatment Toner. And you see how much of this bad boy I have left. This is 150 mils. This is a big old product. I spray my face with this and then I use one more product. It's really sad. And I don't know who named this, but they named it for me. This is Holica Holica's Lazy and Easy All-in-One Master. Honey, I don't know what's in this. It's in Korean on the back. I don't know what's in this. But I slather this on my face and I go to sleep. <laughs> That's, it. That's it. If I cannot be bothered, it's a squirt squirt and a smear smear. Go to sleep. That's it. Because I want moisture on my face. I want something to be working on my face. And this is perfect. It's perfect. I just bought some new AHA, BHA, PHA spray from Shop Miss A. And I will have that video will be up when I hold all their new skincare. And so I'll show you what that looks like there, but that will replace this once I'm out of this. This is a great brand. I have many Cosrx products and I love them all. I mostly use those products though during the day, but this is my nighttime spray it on my face. Okay. And then there's one other product that I will use if it's necessary. And that is pimple patches. The this is the brand that I love. This is the Rayel Beauty. They come in 10 millimeter and 12 millimeter and they're little invisible patches. It, if you have either one that hasn't come to the surface, one that has and you haven't touched or one that you've touched, they work great on all of them. And you pop it on and then you go to sleep. And in the morning you peel the thing off and it has sucked out all, some nasty stuff out of it. It's disgusting, but amazing. And I use these I have used them since I first heard of them a few years ago, and they do wonders. They do absolute wonders. If I've got, I mean, I've got some redness, and I've got a couple, like, little tiny, tiny ones, they're not worth it to me. I'm not going to use a pimple patch on those. This one, when it was cystic, I had one on every single night for, like, a week straight. I would put a new one on every night. Some folks wear these during the day, because during the day, you, you encounter more dirt and all that. I use this to draw out the nasty in it and it will make it less red it will heal so much faster i th these i use when i need to okay that's all that stuff let's talk and let's actually do some so i usually come in here and spray the murad hydrating toner i use this during the day and at night i just spray it on my face i love a spray i don't necessarily love shaking something out onto a cotton round and smearing it I don't love that feeling, so I don't really do it. But I spray that on my face, and I've already sprayed that. Okay, another product that I use that I am, you know, I'm getting up there with. This is the Milk Makeup Melatonin Overnight Serum. It's a little purple lavender. I think it's beautiful. Has no smell. And I just run it all over my... This is the easiest thing. I don't want intricate stuff at night. I run that all over my face. If I'm feeling froggy, I'll slightly rub it in. That's that. That's one thing. I do try to use an eye cream at night. My under eyes are dry. I am older. This is the current one. I am not, this is not a thing I'm like, ooh, I have to have this eye cream. No, I don't. I have to have a cream. And if I'm really, like this becomes eye cream everything. I just smear it underneath my eyes. Any moisturizer will work as eye cream. Just smear it underneath your eyes. Don't smear it in your eyes. But sometimes eye creams will have other, you know, properties or ingredients or whatever that are really good. I don't care. I get them in boxes all the time. So I have plenty of eye cream. I don't buy eye cream very much ever. And uh, yeah, this one's the Dr. Brandt triple peptide eye cream. There she is. She's great. It's just a little squeezy tube. Smear it on. Okay. Next, I if I have healing acne or a little bit of acne um, or it's that time of the month that I know I'm going to get some. 
I use the UFO for acne treatment facial oil from Sunday Riley. And I don't use much. Y'all, I've had this forever. It, it does have a strong smell. If you hate fragrance, I, this is, it's just a, and it's a really weird smell. I love it, but that's because it's salicylic acid and it's wonderful. I use this. I will put a couple of dots in my hands, rub it together and tap it over wherever it is. For me, I typically break out in my chin area during uh, the season of the month that I love to break out. I'm all right to actually use this this morning because I didn't wear makeup all day today. So I don't have much on. I mean, let me rephrase. I had this on earlier today. I'm not going to put it on tonight. So I will put some of that on if I need to. And then depending on the night, like sometimes I put good jeans on and sometimes I don't. This is, I'm about halfway done with this bottle. This mess is expensive now. This mess is expensive. This I got in my BoxyCharm. I have used up samples and point perks. I love good jeans. This is so expensive. I love her. One pop, whole face. I don't do it every night. It may be every third night or so. This is beautiful lactic acid. It is stunning and I love her. And when I'm, if I'm going to have a big day tomorrow, like, you know, and you just want to feel good, the night before I put on good jeans, hands down. Like, if I've got a, you know, like a presentation at work that I'm a little bit nervous about or whatever, like, I'm just going to have a big day. It's my birthday tomorrow. Whatever. It's not my birthday tomorrow. But you know what I'm saying? Like the night before my birthday, I use good jeans. So then in the morning, my skin felt like super soft and glorious. If you've never tried good jeans, I highly recommend that you get a sample of some kind. Um, and there are lots of people who sell like small samples, like even sachets, like little tiny full samples. One, one coating of this, one time using this, you, it will be, it, you will tell a difference. This is, this is one product that doesn't, I don't have anything else that works like it. Now, I do have the Ordinary Lactic Acid. I do have that. So if I, and I have used just a little bit of it, it's okay. Um, if I want that experience without using the Sunday Riley, I can get it for less, but it's not quite the same. This is a beautiful, it's a beautiful product that is a unique product. Okay, last thing that I do for evening is, for face, is put on some kind of heavy-duty hitting moisturizing product, like some kind of mask, and I don't mean like, like you wash it off, I mean like overnight mask, kind of thick cream, something like that, because my skin would stay dehydrated if it could, I have to moisturize a lot. And so I do. So I will occasionally use two and I'm using up a, what's called, if this is called grown alchemist, if this is their detox night cream and it's, it's okay. I I mean, you, I can't even, it rolls all the way out. Like this was a big old product. I got it in a boxy charm a while ago. It's a cream. It's not super thick, but it's, a, it's a cream. So it sinks in pretty, pretty well, pretty quickly. It does have a scent, not a bad one. And uh, it's a nice cream. It's not as thick as I need it to be, but I'm using it up. So I'm happy to have it. I can layer moisturizer. I don't break out from too much moisturizer. Some people might, um, you know, have some issue with, with different moisturizers on top of each other. None of these do I have any problem with uh, mixing. So I usually put some of that on. And we're getting close to the bottom of this one. <laughs> and it's because, you know, it's a, it's a nice product. It does, it does a good job of moisturizing. I like another step, especially um, I have a couple of things. One is um, my bedroom is very, very cold. And that can, uh, and there's, we have this, we just, we sleep better in the cold. I have a bed jet, so it's blowing air constantly. And I sleep in a CPAP. Um, so my nose especially uh, has air blowing on it all night long, like directly on it. <laughs> so I need to be very careful with my skin um, and making sure that it's moisturized. So we do that layer. And then I have a few products that I will layer over it currently. I am not married to two of them. One of them I'm going to live forever with. So one thing that I just got, this is so cute. This is a, this is Claire's 
Uh, this is a, a Korean brand. This is the Freshly Juiced Vitamin E Mask. It says mask. You can wear it as a moisturizer. This looks like it's a lid. It's not. It just, it like re-gels into itself. It's a beautiful moisturizer. Um, I got this from my friend Kim in my birthday box. I unboxed uh, a bunch of gifts from her that was fabulous. That was one thing. This came in a box. This is the Elemis, it looks gross, I'm sorry. It's because I touch it with like skincare hands, you know. This is Elemis Peptide Plumping Pillow Facial. This is a hydrating sleep mask. And I have been using this since I got it in the box as well. It's a little light blue, pretty. It has a, a fresh smell, but not too strong. I use, I use that as a sleeping mask. But the Peace Day Resistance, y'all, the one I like, the one I'm married to, the one I want to be with forever, this is the cheapest thing. <laughs> why this this is like some sort of like expensive i mean you know like 50 60 dollars i don't know how much it is it came in a box so i know you know but this is so inexpensive this is the squalene from aoa studio it's like a dollar 88 for 20 mils a dollar 88 this is thick and this is gorgeous this is so gorgeous on it, it works under makeup too. Like if you want to wear it during the day, I do sometimes, especially if my skin is very dry, I'll, I'll target it in certain areas around my mouth and my nose if I need to. If I have a spot that's causing me issue that's drying out, I'll just dab a little bit of this on it. It's beautiful. Works well under makeup, but this is a good one for nighttime. I love this. I love this. I'll tell you another thing that I, I, I will try. I mean, I'll try little sachets of things. I'll keep them around and and try them. I don't, I, my skin is sensitive, but not so sensitive that I can't try new things. And I love trying new things. I think tonight let's use, let's use the Elemis. It's really cute. Um, it's a, it's a nice product. And I don't, I mean, I don't drown in it, but I, I put enough on for me to be super moisturized. And I do, I do do this. I do do this. Um, well enough before bed that it has time to sink in. And I typically, there's a couple other things I do before bed. Let me tell you about them. So with my nightly routine. So the other piece that you haven't seen me do is my lips. So I love, by the way, always, I rub in my skincare on the back of my hands. My hands are dry. I wash them all the time. Like I'm sure you do too, because we live in a panorama. But I mean, my hands get dry all the time. So I usually, whatever I've got on my face, I put on my hands. Salicylic acid, don't matter. I just put it right on my hands, don't matter. Um, lips, at nighttime, I like a thick, big old thick thing, but right next to my bed, especially if I go uh, to bed, I read in bed before I go to sleep. And I know some people don't love doing that. They don't, they only go to, to their bed to sleep. That's okay, I understand that. I read in my bed um, for hours sometimes because I'm a reader, it's what I do. So I sit up in bed and I read and then I go to sleep. And uh, I have some chapsticks, like some lip balms next to my bed. Currently, they are like the Fun Dip and Rainbow Nerds, like some sort of silly, like delicious smelling. And I will smear that on if my lip mask like has sunk in, sunk in for quite a while. Like if I'm talking like four or five hours. Yes, I read for four or five hours a night, depending on the time of day. One of the things that I'm almost done using up, I use some sort of like thick lip mask. So, you know, not I, I use a lip oil in the morning. At night, I use some sort of lip mask. This is from Kimchi Chic. This is her Candy Lips Lip Mask. And I've had to take the stuffer out. Like, we are almost done with her. And she's fabulous. She's thick. And I put on a lot. And it's, it's gorgeous. I love a good, thick lip mask at night. Um, a, a good balm. But if, and but I'll also do like straight up like a Vaseline. Like if, if we're bad, Aquaphor, Vaseline, I will, I'm not kidding. Like I have had several like, oh, I've got a, like a lanolin product that I had from a long time ago that I used um, up. I mean, like my lips can get really bad if I don't take care of them every single day. So that's, that's one thing I use at night. A faux show is a lip mask. Got the hiccups. Oh. So one other thing that I do in here before I go to bed is I use a fragrance. Some people don't. I do every night if I can, if I remember. 
some nights I'm really, like when I do this kind of routine, I don't use a fragrance. There's not one in my bathroom. We're done. But if I come in here, I spray a fragrance before I go to sleep. I know that could be crazy, but if I'm going to go, especially if I'm going to read, if like I'm, I'm going to, I'm, I use a fragrance at night. No, I, that, do you? I don't know. I've never heard anybody talk about spraying a fragrance before they go to sleep, like on YouTube. I don't know. This might be weird, but I do. And it has like, sometimes the fragrance that I use depends on the mood that I'm in or the season that I'm in. And so I can spray Like if it's like Christmas, I'll use like Christmassy scents. You know what I'm talking about? Like, it, you know, holidays or whatever, I'll do that. But like it, it, sometimes it's a different fragrance than what I use during the day. Like I have nighttime scents. I know this is probably wild. I don't know if anybody else does this. Um, one of my favorites is Nest Black Tulip. I don't use her during the day. This is a rollerball. I don't use her during the day. This is a nighttime scent. I don't know why. This is a nighttime scent for me. Um, we're... We love this. This is a wonderful scent. I love her. She's gorgeous. Um, another one that me and Mr. Mug won't use, I use this more at night now. This is the Dossier Oriental Tobacco. Um, since I got this, this has become a nighttime for me. This is the one that, that smells like a guy named Liam in a bookstore in a tweed coat. This is that. And that's not, that is a, it's a reading, it's a reading smell. Don't ask me what that means, but that's that's what that is. I use that as well. And then, oh, there's another one. Where is she? My vanity needs to be cleaned full real. There she is. <laughs> this is an old fragrance, like super old. This is um, Guess by Mar Marciano. Marciano. Honey, this is old as the as the hills. I don't even know. This is so old. This is probably my third bottle and it's the last bottle I have. I don't know how old this is, but it smells so good to me. It's a nighttime scent. I don't know. Do you have nighttime scents? I don't know. Um, I do. I do. Um, I will, I will use, I mean, I've got some of these as well. Like depending, these are, I need to put these away, but these are some of my Christmas scents that are still out because it's only March. Um, the, these little bad boys, like if I just want a little bit and I'm, you know, winter candy apples, a good one, twisted peppermint's another one that I really like. Um, I've still got my winter, um, like my winter lotions because I always lotion up as well. Like I have to put, I'm dry y'all. I'm a dry old hag, but these are the two I'm using right now. This is snowy peach berry. That one's a good one. This, I think this was new this year. And then this is twisted peppermint. I use these two. Um, and I'll probably switch these out pretty soon. I usually switch out lotion scents for like the next season at the next like major holiday. So Easter, at the beginning of April, I will switch out for things like um, strawberry pound cake, things like that. I'll, I don't know why that smells like spring to me, but it does, but I'll switch these out soon. But I always put lotion on my hands, usually on my feet, if I can remember, you know, how it is sometimes when you get really sleepy, but I put a scent on and then I go read. That's me, that's my evening routine. This was a really, a lot longer than I thought, but I wanted to tell you all the things that I do. What do you do? <laughs> Do you have like a short, like, OMG, I'm going to sleep right now on my feet. I have to go like wipe my face and then put this on, like put this thing on. Like, do you have a short routine and a long routine? Uh, this is my routine almost every night. I, I mean, I like to sit here. I unwind here and then I go get in the bed smelling delicious and all, all <laughs> gussied up in all of my beautiful lotions and potions. And then I read for a while. Um, and enjoy my evening. It's my time at nighttime and I, I like that. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you want to hang out with me some more. Uh, we have a lot of fun around here. We talk about a lot of makeup, some skincare. Uh, we do some get ready with me, some hauls, some swatching. We have a good time over here. Uh, thanks so much for hanging out with me and my pineapple tonight. I appreciate you. Y'all have a great rest of your day. Bye.